Hey guys, it's Funk Roberts from SpartanTrainingBlog.com, FunkMMA.com, and today I'm really excited because I have part one of my new nutrition video series that's going to take you through the specifics of nutrition for fat loss while building lean muscle, both for men and women. So together, this information is key. Now, it's so important that you understand a bit about nutrition before you really dig deep into a new nutrition plan or how to why you're eating healthy or a diet plan because a lot of times people dive into all these diet plans and all these things, they only know a little bit about why they're doing it and end up stopping it or sabotaging it or really you know not not moving forward with it or being consistent with it so I thought that it would be really important for you to understand why do you eat proteins why do you need carbs why do you need healthy fats why should you be drinking water if your goal is to burn fat while building lean muscle by getting toned if you're a woman or building lean muscle if you're a guy getting ripped and that's what I'm here to do. So this is part one. Um, this is part one of the series. This is protein for fat loss. So I want you to take a look at it. The next one coming out will be carbs, followed by fats, followed by waters, and then I got some surprises for you. So, so it may be a little bit long, but sit down, grab a protein shake or a glass of water, and take the time to really understand and learn the importance of protein if your goal is to burn fat while you build lean muscle, if you want to be lean and mean, if you want to look sexy, then listen up because this is really great information, all right? Okay, so good luck. Hey guys, it's Funk Roberts from SpartacusWorkoutBlog.com, FunkMMA.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of protein in your diet to ensure that you burn fat while building lean muscle and getting stronger. Now if your goal is to burn fat while building lean muscle and getting stronger, then A, you understand that using metabolic workouts such as my Spartacus workouts are way more effective than doing 60 minutes on a cardio machine or pushing uh, traditional weights. Now that's only one part of the caveat. The second part is nutrition and in order to ensure that you continue to burn fat throughout the day by keeping your metabolism high making sure that you feed the mus muscles the right nutrients it's need it needs to grow then nutrition is going to be about 80 percent of the equation that's right 80 percent of the equation eating the right foods at the right time is key believe it uh, take it from me i used to be that big guy 210 pounds of puffy muscle because i did traditional weight training traditional cardio for 60 minutes and wasn't feeding my muscles the right food at the right time so today I'm going to talk to you about where protein and how protein plays a part in the, the nutrition. Just remember this, always keep this in mind, you cannot out-train a bad diet, which means no matter how many Spartacus workouts you do, no matter how many weeks of Spartacus you do, if your nutrition isn't on point, eating the right foods, whole foods, clean foods at the right time to ensure your uh, metabolism stays high, your muscles are fed, then you will not see results, weight loss results fat burning results, muscle building results, will all go to waste, all right? So let's get started. What is a protein? So proteins are known as the body's building blocks and they can be found throughout the body. So your muscles, tissues, skins, bones, um, and they're definitely needed for muscle growth and muscle repair. Now, proteins are made up of 22 amino acids that the body doesn't naturally produce, uh, like we do carbs and fats. So because the body doesn't naturally produce it, we need to replenish the body with these proteins and amino acids throughout the day in order for our body to function properly. Very important in order for our body to function, we need these proteins that are not naturally produced. That being said, we have to make sure that we feed the body proteins on a daily basis, which I always emphasize. Every single meal or snack needs to have a source of protein. If you're thinking, again, let me, let me uh, reiterate, our body doesn't naturally produce, produce this, so we need to replenish it on a daily basis, uh, meal by meal. If you think about this, if you've ever been, uh, if you ever had an operation or have ever been uh, in the hospital and needed an IV, what is one of the main things other than the nutrients and vitamins that you need that they have in that IV? Protein. They always have protein because their bodies need it. So that being said, very, very important. That's the importance of protein and how important of a, of a factor it works on our body, um, for our body. Okay, so what is protein good for and quickly how does it work? Well, proteins, along with resistance training, of course, help our body to change shape. 
by helping us build muscle and raise our metabolism. And that is key because it's not just about losing weight. You can, everyone can lose weight. Um, and, and, but the thing is, those people who just focus on weight loss and don't worry about the resistance training or nutrition the proper way will lose weight, but they'll also have that flab all over the place, the flab hanging down. And you don't want that because even though you've lost the weight and hit your target weight, when you look in the mirror, you're still going to feel and look ugly. Uh, you're going to feel ugly, you're not going to feel uh, confident, and then it's going to revert you back to your old ways. So the key here is we want to not just lose weight, but it's burn fat while we build muscle. And when we do that, our bodies stay lean and continue to stay lean. Um, your body shape looks absolutely better. You're transforming your body to look better. You're going to feel better, feel stronger, and you're not going to have all of that loose skin that is often associated with people who just go for the, uh, for the pounds and don't worry about your resistance training or um, your nutrition, okay? So that's the key. So proteins play a very important part in that process. So how does protein help with fat loss? So a lot of people are misinformed and think that protein is only for building big muscles and getting bigger and, and putting on weight, but actually protein is essential and is the best thing to have if fat loss is your goal. Because it takes more energy for the body to digest protein than it does any other macronutrients, so carbs or fat. Um, it's got like a thermic effect, so, your meta so the metabolism raises as your body digests protein. So it means the more protein you eat, the, the higher your metabolism, the higher the thermic effect, because the body needs to use up all that energy to burn up that protein. And that's great, that's something that's amazing. The thermic effects of protein are higher than any food. So after eating a protein, your metabolic rate increases by approximately 30%. So in other words, if you ate 100 calories of protein, 30 of those calories are burnt and uh, just by digesting and using that protein. So 30 calories are burned just by digesting and using the protein, which is way higher than carbs, which is 10% or 10, and uh, fats, which is five. So you can see how important nutrition is to increasing and ensuring that calories are being burned throughout the day, your metabolic rate is higher, and that's where protein plays a very important part in helping you burn more fat. Okay, so how does protein help with building muscle mass? So protein is key in helping your body build muscle mass, building that mass. So the more muscle mass you have, the higher your met metabolic rate is, of course, because muscle burns fat. So you want to have more muscle by feeding, getting the protein into those muscles, helping your muscles grow so that now your muscles are there, but they're burning fat and making it look like this, more, more lean, strong muscle. You want to build lean, hard muscle. So feeding the protein, protein helps uh, build the muscle mass. The muscle mass increases your metabolic rate. So the more muscles you have, the more your higher metabolism and the more fat you're going to burn. So what kinds of proteins should you be eating on a daily basis? Now I'm not going to go through the whole list of proteins. I'll have that list of proteins accompanying this video, but um, you know I've got my high quality proteins that are always in the fridge and that I always eat. That include fish, turkey, chicken, lean beef, um, eggs and egg whites, uh, yogurt, Greek yogurt actually, Greek yogurt, and whey protein of course. Uh, those are some of those, are those high quality ones uh, that, um, that you should have. But again, I'll have a list of the proteins that you can choose from to help you ensure that you're getting protein every day. But those ones I just, I just talked about are, are the key ones that I have and that I use all the time to uh, maintain and uh, continue to uh, burn fat and, and build lean muscle. Okay, so how much protein does a man and woman need per day? Now, I'm just gonna step back a second and premise this question by saying, we are training at a high level. We're training uh, three to four to five days a week using Spartacus workouts, Spartan workouts, metabolic workouts, high intensity training. And our goals are to burn fat while we build lean muscle and get stronger, okay? If this is the case, then my first and quick answer to the question of how much protein you need uh, for a man or woman per day is 
every meal you have, every snack you have, you should eat a source of protein. You need a source of protein with every meal and snack. So when you look at your plate, uh, you should be able to identify your protein. If you can't identify the protein, then you have to stop and go get one. Okay, so whether it's a snack, whatever it is, you have to have a, a protein. Now, for those of you who are uh, numbers people and really need to calculate everything, you're looking at uh, 1.4 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram, um, which equates to about 0 0.6 to 0.9 grams per, per pound. Okay, so you're going to see other numbers, and the numbers are going to be up there too, but you're going to see other numbers thrown at you. And you got to take into account, it all depends on type of person you are, your age, your size, um, and, and, your, and, and your training activity. So I can't get too specific to each person, but I can narrow it down to saying, look, we are training at a high level, high intensity. Um, our goal is, again, burning fat uh, while building lean muscle, getting stronger. So in that case, we want to make sure that we get 1.4 to, to 2 grams of uh, protein per kilogram or 0.6 to 0.9 grams per pound. All right. When you're on a fat loss goal, when your goal is fat loss, you want to burn fat, and you're exercising at such a high rate, like our workouts are very intense as you know. So we're actually going to have to really increase that protein. That's why I said before um, the, the grams of protein per day needs to be a little bit higher for us because the body's going to start turning to protein for fuel. It's going to start looking for the protein. And that's why we got to continually feed the body protein um, because again we're burning fat metabolism metabolism is getting higher we're working out at a high rate and our body's looking for more protein where's that protein where's that protein you got to ensure that we're feeding the muscles feeding our body protein uh, on a per meal basis so let's talk about protein and exercise quickly um, protein Post-workout protein is very important because it helps with recovery and repair in the muscles. Um, I always talk about also having two to one carbs to protein after because we want to Increase, uh, continue our metabolism but protein releases a hormone hormone called glucagen which is a fat burning hormone so again very important to ingest protein after your workout as well as every other meal to ensure that we repair muscles more muscles recover and we continue that fat burning effect hey guys listen bottom line if your body is not getting enough protein every day, especially at the intensity level that we're working out, your body's gonna start to rob your muscles of the protein. Your body's gonna start to look for that protein everywhere else if it's not getting it in um, through us. As I said before earlier on, our body does not uh, produce protein. It does not produce these amino acids, so we have to replenish the body. If we don't replenish the body with proteins, then it's going to start to eat away at the proteins in our muscles and everywhere else in our body. And we do not want that. So it's very, very important for fat loss, for building lean muscle, for being toned, uh, having our body reshape, that we uh, get protein in on a daily basis, uh, getting enough protein on a daily basis, and making sure that we eat protein every meal five to six days a week all right so i'm funk roberts uh from spartacusworkoutblog.com funkmma.com i hope that helped you understand the importance of protein when it comes to fat loss while building lean muscle it's very very important so get out there and get your sources of protein uh stock that fridge so you always have it and um hey guys let's get it done our next is carbs so if you look to the right or wherever i'm pointing right now you'll be able to see a link to the importance of carbs when it comes to um fat loss and then others fats and, and water as well i hope this helps get it done